All right, thank you. Uh, it's uh, uh, good evening, everybody. It's my uh, great honor to be met here to uh, introduce what we're doing uh, in Burning Chan Center in China. Uh, okay, uh, we are working on visualizing burn wide networks. Okay, not only the neuronal uh, networks, but also uh, the vascular network. Okay. Uh, I'm introducing a new term which refers uh, to the uh, integrated systematic approach of uh, measuring, analyzing, uh, managing, and displaying uh, brain-wide spatial data with uh, high voxel resolution. Okay, with global position of the neural types, neural circuits, vascular networks, and the 3D uh, fine brain atlas. Uh, brain semantics uh, makes it possible to better decipher uh, the brain function and the disease. Uh, we all know uh, the structure of brain is particularly uh, complex. Okay? Uh, uh, we can use the uh, electron microscope to decipher uh, the structure of the synapse, but it is uh, very uh, level intensive. The MRI tells you, can tell the regional responses with different brain function, but it, it cannot resolve the single neuron. Okay? So therefore, uh, the brain study demands an approach at a mesoscopic uh, level. So how can we uh, uh, do that? Okay, uh, my group uh, developed a, a system we call micro-optical section tomography. Okay, the most centered uh, multidisciplinary uh, technical system okay, to achieve the neural structure of the single neural resolution okay, for the uh, whole brain. Uh, this movie show uh, uh, the, uh, the principle. We use the diamond knife to do the physical uh, sectioning to the brain sample. So uh, in, uh, during the sec uh, physical sectioning, we do the images. Uh, since uh, that we know the exact position and where Im we image it, so, that, so then we, uh, it could be very easy to do the uh, auto registration and then later reconstruct to 3D. Uh, taking the advantage uh, uh, of the, uh, our most physical sectioning, we can uh, make a combination with the optical sectioning technique, such as uh, the, uh, the confocal, uh, uh, to photo, multi-photo, even photoacoustic OCT, and also the uh, structural illumination uh, uh, microscope okay, for different purposes. However, to precisely demonstrate the neural morphology, uh, and uh, a connectome or projectome of vascular network and uh, even site architecture and brain mapping, only good, si uh, good imaging system is not enough. So uh, a systematic uh, solution uh, needs more, including uh, the model, okay, the brain models, uh, and we, we need to do the labeling, embedding, and even the data processing. Okay, for uh, the, uh, the uh, 3D reconstruction. Uh, since I don't have time to present the details, if anyone is interested, you can uh, uh, find my, our uh, publications, okay? So even if it is for the uh, non-human primate or human brain, it, uh, for the optics people, I would think that there's uh, uh, more and more challenges, okay? Here, I uh, just want to show uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the data based on uh, obtained by our most or uh, fluorescent most system, uh, uh, including the cell types, uh, circuits, and uh, then a vascular network and the 3D uh, uh, fine brain atlas. Okay, here we show uh, 40 long distance projection neurons of the Taiwan UFP atline mouse brain. Okay, so our findings not only confirm some previously discovered pathways reported in literature but also highlight uh, several unreported uh, uh, putative projection pathways, okay? So I would like to emphasize that many neurons here are globally distributed in the whole brain, okay? The brain slice, if you, with the conventional measure, if you got the just brain slice, in any direction you will lose a lot of information. Uh, collabora collaborated with uh, uh, Hong Kui from Allen Brain Institute. We imaged the giant brain uh, from the claustrum, uh, which came to be uh, noticed by the uh, nature. Here I show a brain-wide projection of a single parameter neuron uh, at a, a prefrontal cortex. Uh, the neural projection 
you can see here both can project both sides of the brain and the morphology is uh, very intensive and uh, complex. Okay, uh, here, uh, here I show uh, 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 some details of brain-wide neural circuits of the mouse brain. Okay, so you can see uh, there uh, the mouse brain was uh, uh, here. The data just show with uh, doesn't work. Sure. Okay, it's showing. Is stained by the new sustain, but uh, with uh, this uh, uh, movie, you can uh, find the very detailed uh, information about the uh, the brains. Okay, let me show you another one. Okay, uh, the high continuity on this, uh, if we uh, use the most to get the data, the high continuity on the self registration of the whole brain imaging data set acquired by our FMO system allows to trace the detailed morphology of the neurons including, you can see from this movie, the axons, the dendrite arbors, the buttons and the spines in the whole brain. So tracing and reconstructing the neuron, neurons in such a high resolution would be uh, helpful for codifying new morphology standards, uh, which would permit a more systematic classification of uh, neurons. Okay. A new sustaining method not only stand the cell, uh, cell nuclei, uh, we call this all site architecture, but also provide an image contrast for blood vessels. Uh, recently, we pro uh, published a paper uh, about the uh, precise cere cerebral vascular atlas of a mass brain. So we can uh, distinguish both arteries and veins in the whole mass brain, okay, for the first time with micro voxel resolution. So we uh, just uh, uh, reported a comprehensive whole brain atlas of the uh, chronological system originated from various cortical and uh, subcortical regions of the uh, mouse brain. We obtained a uh, quantification of the number and the summer volume of chronological neurons in 22 uh, areas. We found that this, uh, their projection to the uh, forebrain and the midbrain show neuronal subgroups with distinct projection specificity and the diverse orbital distribution within the same projection area. Okay, uh, this movie showed the dual color uh, whole brain data from uh, this Cy1 uh, GFP uh, M9 transgenic mouse brain. Okay, uh, for each imaging of the neural structure, uh, then they, uh, uh, they can have their own set architecture. You can see from this movie, the, the red corner showed set architecture. So that showed the uh, landmarks. Okay, so from this movie, you can uh, know the exact composition, the neurons uh, based on these landmarks. Uh, to illustrate uh, the, uh, and, uh, the accurate correlation of the same neural types with cellular landmarks uh, in the uh, same region, we examined the classical uh, functional columns and determined the complete uh, 3D morphology of the barrier cortex of the layer uh, five to six primary neurons. We can figure out uh, the location of barrier uh, cortex according to the uh, cellular landmarks. Okay, then we can trace 50 parameter neurons in the region and reconstruct their uh, whole morphology. Okay. Uh, this is a result of a simultaneous acquisition of the neur both uh, neurons and uh, uh, the uh, landmarks. You can, you can see the, uh, the very detailed information. And also you can even do the quantitative study. Okay. You can analyze how many uh, exon orbits on the buttons or how long uh, 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 of the exon orbits can do the quantitative study, okay. Okay, well, I, I hope I have convinced you that with the most centered approaches, we can uh, measure, analyze, manage, and display the brain-wide uh, spatial data uh, with single neural resolution. Okay, uh, we will register uh, this uh, metadata uh, to the uh, NN Brain Institute, the uh, common coordinate frameworks, the brain space, uh, including, you can see here, a lot of blood vessels, coordinator neurons, and different uh, set of neurons, or you can see, we can register all the data. Okay. Okay, in, in uh, just a short summary, so we, uh, we think uh, we filled up uh, the gap between the electron microscope 
and MRI can provide you uh, the uh, mesoscopic level, but can imaging uh, uh, can do the imaging with a uh, 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 quite big uh, error. Okay, uh, we have uh, uh, some collaborations uh, in the United States, including uh, two groups from Stanford and also the Edinburgh Institute and Cosbrain Harbor. And then we have uploaded our data set uh, uh, to the European Human Brain Project. Okay. Uh, in, uh, in China, Suzhou, very close to Shanghai, we established a new institute called uh, uh, Suzhou Institute for Brain Semantics, uh, with, uh, which own uh, 50 sets of most system, guaranteed brain-wide imaging with single neural resolution for at least uh, three mass brain per day. Okay, the, uh, the uh, platform now also have a, a 32 terabyte online storage and a, a 100 teraflops computing power. So again, okay, Nature News also reported our, uh, this uh, institute and described it's a, and they say it's a, a brain imaging factory. Okay, uh, the, uh, the following, uh, this uh, drone, we will uh, host a summer school in Suzhou and the call for registration will be released very soon. Okay. And in China, uh, besides Wuhan and Suzhou, we have uh, also several sets uh, to uh, uh, do our this study. We have a lot of collaboration. And uh, I would like to uh, acknowledge uh, 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 the collaborators, colleagues, and also grants, especially uh, two grants from NIH grant. So it's, you know, it's not easy uh, from China to get NIH grant. Okay. Since uh, it is approaching Chinese Lunar New Year, I would like to, uh, I also want to wish you a most uh, wonderful New Year. Thank you.